teacher talking sports what it does what it do how we live in yesterday bleacher report came out with an article in which they named the best nba players to never win a ring they as they mentioned they rallied 12 hoops experts and average their ranking of the 19 winless stars that's one thing i had wrong with um i felt was wrong with this They only looked at guys from the NBA 75 list. So there were 19 players on there that didn't win a ring. I mean, if you're going to make an article, best players with um, without a ring, then state it in the title of your article. The the title is just ranking the top 10 stars to never win a ring. They have honorable mentions, which includes the nine players um, that didn't make the top 10. So, I mean, not everyone's going to read the introduction to see that they're only looking at the NBA 75. Uh, Some people are just going to scroll and see who the top 10 are. So, that didn't make much sense to me that they only included the NBA 75. Um, So, people are going to wonder in the comments, you know, why why is Nate Thurman and Dave Bing honorable mentions when guys like Vince Carter and Tracy McGrady aren't? (laughs) And then a smaller problem I had was it mentions that uh, amid on that list, the mid-56 champions were 19 stars who either never won or have yet to win a championship ring. Well, the NBA stated that there's 76 guys, that there was a tie for that last spot, 75. So 56 plus 19 is only 75. But the error is human, not that big a deal. But let's get into their top 10. So BR's top 10 NBA stars to never win a ring. Uh, they list Sir Charles first, the mailman second, Elgin Baylor third, Carl, excuse me, Chris Paul fourth, John Stockton fifth, AI sixth, get dunked on by Patrick Chewing. Patrick Ewing, 7th, Steve Nash, 8th, James Harden, ninth, Russell Westbrook, 10th. So those are their top 10 without a ring. Uh, I know there's been a lot of backlash for the mailman uh, recently about things that have happened off the court in his past. I'm not going to get into it, but in my opinion, uh, Malone should slightly be ahead of Charles Barkley. Uh, but they probably are 1 and 2. Um, otherwise I think Chris Paul might be a little too high. Um, I think I'd personally give Stockton a slight edge over him. Uh, Ewing and Iverson is somewhat interchangeable. I don't really have much of a problem with the end of the list. So they also rank 11 through 19. So they're 11 through 19 in order. Dominique Wilkins, Carmelo Anthony, Pistol Pete Maravich, George Gervin, Reggie Miller, 15th. That's low. Damian Lillard, Dave Bing, Lenny Wilkins, and Nate Thurman. Again, those last three guys, Nate Thurman, Lenny Wilkins, Dave Bing, great players. But if if you were to construct a list of the best players without a ring... I think most people are putting guys like Vince Carter, Tracy McGrady, maybe a Chris Webber on over them. Uh, Some other guys that weren't mentioned because they weren't on the top 75 include Sidney Moncrief, Artis Gilmore, Bob Lanier, uh, to name a few. So what did you think about Bleacher Report's uh, article, Top 10 Players to Never Win a Ring? Uh, Do you think that Sir Charles is the best of all time to never win a ring. Would you give the edge to the mailman, Elgin Baylor, CP3? I believe those were the four players that uh, one voter gave a first place vote to. Uh, Those were the four guys who received the first place vote. What what do you think was the biggest error? Who should have been on their top 10 that wasn't? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, share the video, hit the bell for notifications. I'm out.